Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the eighth tutorial on testing and optimization in MetaTrader 4. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we talked about the forward test and today we will be discussing the concept of optimization. Before we dive in, for those of you who are watching this course on Udemy, I would like to ask you a favor. I know we're not finished yet, but if you've already gotten a lot of value out of this course, would you mind leaving a review? Even just clicking the number of stars you feel the course deserves so far would be helpful. I'm asking you now since a lot of students originally intend to leave reviews at the end of the course but never do because they forget or never finish the course for whatever reasons. If you're not sure right now, you can always change the review or just leave one later. It's totally up to you. Okay, now on with the show. So what is optimization? According to the Oxford Dictionary, to optimize means to make the best or most effective use of. What does that mean for us when we're using algorithmic trading systems on the Forex market? Well, as you can recall from tutorial number four, every Forex robot comes with uh, a set of um, parameters that you're able to change in order to adjust the behavior of the Forex robot on the Forex market. And by adjusting these parameters, you can uh, get the Forex robot to uh, produce unprofitable results or you can get it to produce profitable results. So for us, optimization will mean uh, finding the optimal set of parameters that will yield the highest possible result and that will give us the best return. So let's look at an example. Um, as you can recall, this is the timeline that we looked at uh, in the previous tutorial. Let's uh, for a second forget about the forward test. So um, this is um, how we conduct back tests uh, on the Forex market. And uh, say for for instance that we have come up with five different sets of parameters for a forex robot and we want to check which of those five parameters is uh, the best for us to use in trading. So what we would do is we would write all these five out here and we would run five um, separate back tests um, and then we would uh, choose out of the results. So say for example that the results are as follows. Um, obviously, right away we can see that um, these two are unprofitable and we would discard set number three and set number four. And out of the remaining sets, we would choose the most profitable one, this one. Uh, of course, this is a, a very um, basic approach. And uh, in reality, we would uh, look at other things like uh, the ratios that are available in the strategy test report. For example, we'd look at uh, the profit factor and the expected payoff. And uh, also we would want to run some forward tests to see um, that these results would actually perform, or uh, these sets would actually perform uh, in a similar fashion on um, this data that we still have here available for a forward test. But uh, in its essence, this is the approach to, to optimization. You just come up with a set of parameters, you run the back tests for those parameters and you look at the um, results that those parameters yield and then you choose the best one. Um, of course, this process can be quite lengthy because sometimes Forex uh, systems have multiple parameters and when you look at all the different possible combinations of parameters, it can grow exponentially and can be in the tens of thousands of different back tests and there's virtually no way for a person to run all those back tests manually in a short period of time. So this is where MetaTrader 4 comes in uh, to help us out. Uh, MetaTrader 4 has inbuilt functionality for uh, us to perform optimizations on the fly. Um, so how, how is this done? Let's have a look at a standard expert advisor inputs card. And here you can see that um, uh, we're looking at the simple system uh, inputs and uh, this system is a proprietary system which we will uh, be discussing in more detail in uh, the next section. However, right away from here, we can see that there are two parameters, uh, take profit and stop loss, which probably are responsible for the targets for this trading strategy. And currently they're set at 40 each. What we can do in MetaTrader 4 is we can tick the box on the left here, say for example, for the stop loss. And that way we will tell MetaTrader 4 that we want to optimize this um, particular variable. What it will do is it, MetaTrader 4 will keep these other variables um, constant as as they're set, but uh, it will ignore this value for stop loss. Instead of this value, it will actually run multiple back tests based on these values here. So what in reality will happen is a back test will be run for this value for the starting value of 20, and then a back test will be run 
for with an increment of this step value, also 20, until it uh, MediTrader 4 reaches a stop value. So a backtest will be run for stop loss uh, equals 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So in total, there will be five backtests that will be run. Also, you can uh, uh, optimize take profit if you like, and similarly, in this case, uh, another five tests will be run. But what if you want to optimize uh, uh, the combination of take profit and stop loss? Well, you can do that in MedTrader 4 too. You just tick both boxes, and in this case, um, a total of five times five equals 25 back tests will be run. And as you can see, that way you can combine any uh, number of different parameters to be run in one of one big optimization. So that's um, how we can do optimization in theory. Now let's have a quick look at MetaTrader 4 and see uh, how that all plays out in there. Uh, as you can see here, I've got the moving average expert advisor open. Um, we're going to go into its properties. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the genetic algorithm is switched off. Uh, the genetic algorithm is something we'll be discussing in the last section of this course when we're talking about uh, more in-depth optimizations. And uh, But for now, we'll just leave it off because we don't need it. And here we will uh, tick the moving period and moving shift uh, parameters. And say for the moving period, we'll set it at uh, 10, start at a step of 10, and we'll go all the way up to 100. So that's the period of the moving average. And the shift will go from zero with a step of one all the way up to 10. And that's the uh, shift of the moving average. So what we'll do now, we'll click OK. And then we'll make sure that this optimization box is, box is checked. And then we'll click Start. Um, so because we're using every tick, MediTrader 4 is collecting uh, data here. And there it goes. Um, our optimization is running. As you can see, two new tabs have appeared, optimization results and optimization graph. If we click into the optimization graph, we'll see uh, 110 different results because we had 110 uh, back tests that were conducted. Um, and in optimization results, we have a list of these results sorted by profit. Now, uh, I would like to mention that if you see less results here, then you have to uh, or here, you have to right click and you have to make sure that this checkbox is off, uh, skip useless results, because if it's on, then MetaTrader 4 won't be showing you uh, results that did not uh, make a profit. So I'll just expand this quickly so we can see more. So there are results here that uh, were negative, and if that checkbox is on, then uh, you won't see them. So if it, it, it is on by default, so you have to switch it off and then rerun the test again. And now we see all of these results, and as you can see, the most profitable result is up here. We can see the profit factor, expected payoff, and everything. And these are the parameters over here on the right. So as you can see, this report is very handy, and we'll learn how to use it um, uh, in a more detail further down in this course. But for now, what we'll do is we'll just right-click on the top result, we'll click Set Input Parameters, and what that does is it takes off optimization, and it already populates these parameters for us into um, our expert advisor. Now we can just quickly run it and see how um, the robot performs with these parameters. So now we're running this uh, back test. And now if we go to results, or oh, sorry, if we go to graph, as you can see, this is a profitable back test. Obviously, it's not as good because um, this is a prepackaged uh, standard expert advisor that comes with MetaTrader 4, but um, as you can see, MetaTrader 4 helped us optimize the parameters and find the best ones for us. So that's all for today's tutorial. If you are watching on Udemy, please don't forget to rate this course and perhaps leave me a review. I hope you found this information useful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy trading.